Good morning, this is Pastor Alan Baggett, and today is Monday, and this is our word for today. As you know, over the weekend, uh, Hamas has attacked Israel, and we're calling for at our congregation a week of prayer for Israel. So we just encourage everyone to also participate in that as you can. We are kindred spirits with Israel, whether we uh, identify with it or not as a nation. We are grafted in the vine as Christians, and attack against Israel is an attack against us. So please, I ask you to be in prayer for Israel, be in prayer for the uh, families that are being affected, uh, the families that have lost lives, there have been a lot of lives lost, uh, a lot of people injured. So I just wanna encourage you to be in prayer for all of those uh, during this week. In my morning uh, devotions, I came across this passage of scripture and I want to bring this out, especially in the uh, times that we're living in right now and all the uncertainty that's taking place. Isaiah chapter 45, verse two, and it says, I will go before you, speaking of God, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. Amen. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you and clears the way for you. You don't clear your own way. God clears the way for you. He knows all the twists. He knows all the turns as well as all of the mountains that are in your path and the obstacles that are in your way. And he undertakes before you, before you ever even get there, he undertakes to remove those obstacles and make your paths straight. Now in our passage today, it says this. Remember it said, I'll go before you and make your crooked path places straight. So what that means is the word make here means to trample down the walls. Uh, it means uh, uh, to trample down the walls. A crooked means uh, is a reference to, to mountains in our lives. So when we yield completely to God in our lives, He will go before us and He'll prepare a way even in the middle of disaster. He will prepare a way when there seems to be no way. And when all the stuff is going on around us, he still prepares a way when you don't know if you can pay your bills. He's still preparing a way when you get up in the morning and you don't know what's going to hold for that day. He's still preparing a way. You can have joy. You can have peace. You can have contentment in your life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Even in the worst of circumstances, even in the worst of situations, when everything seems to be going sideways, it is still there. He is going before you. He is making a way. He is making crooked places straight. He is tearing down and trampling down walls that are in front of you and obstacles that you don't even know are there. And you'll pass through them and don't even realize that you, you pass through them because he's already taken care of them. It reminds me of this passage. Listen to this, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And I know you know this. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding and acknowledge Him in all of your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. This is a cool passage because direct your paths goes straight along with the scripture in Isaiah because direct your paths actually means to make the crooked path straight. You see... Once we yield completely to God, pour our trust completely in Him, lean on His ability and not our own ability. And when we come into an intimate knowledge, that's what it means when it says acknowledge Him. When we come into an intimate knowledge of Him, He goes before us and He prepares a way for each and every one of us. Listen, my friends, this morning, I know the world seems to be turning upside down, but God is still with us. 
and he is still directing the paths and he is still in charge and he is still in control of everything. Trust in him and trust in his ability to bring you through every challenge, to bring you through every obstacle. God is there for you. He is there with you. He was with you yesterday. He's with you today. And I promise you, he will be with you tomorrow. Just yield to him. Put your trust in him. Lean on his ability, not your own. Begin to cultivate your intimate knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And let him prepare a way for you. Amen. That's my word for today. As you go throughout the week, as you go today, let, let God begin to prepare that way. Yield yourself to him. Put your trust in him. Lean upon his ability. Be, uh, begin to, to increase your intimate knowledge of him and watch what happens that takes place in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I hope that word encourages you today. I hope it strengthens you to take you into the rest of your week. I encourage you to share this. I encourage you to like this. I encourage you, uh, I'll put my notes up in a moment, and then you can share those notes. Uh, it'll be up on YouTube just a moment, and you can uh, share the YouTube link also. And if you are not subscribed to the YouTube link, I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube link. I looked the other day, and I saw in our analytics that over half the people who watch and participate in YouTube aren't subscribed. So just subscribe to it. It'll make it easier. It'll come to you quicker. It'll Every time I post, it'll come up. So please do that. But before we go, let me pray. Father, how thankful we are to know that you are ahead of us and that you are preparing a way. Father, I know that there seems to be obstacles in, in, in lives and challenges in lives and there seems to be really no answers in some situations. But Father, we put our trust in you. We rely on you. You are the one who makes impossible things possible. So we just lay it out before you, Father, right now. And, and with full understanding that as we yield to you and as that we put our trust in you and as we rely upon your ability and as we uh, cultivate our intimate relationship with you, Father, that you are preparing a way for us and making crooked ways straight and you're tearing down walls and obstacles and moving mountains on our behalf. And we're thankful, Father, we give you all the praise and the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. That's the word for today. Please share this. Go to YouTube. Subscribe. Send this word out. Let people get this in their hearts and their spirit. They need it today. God bless you guys. I'll be back about the same time tomorrow.